Okay, so yesterday I showed you what it looked like. We're going to be working on it. We even planted a little grass around here to stop that from eroding down. Move the gate over so that the animals don't have to go through that, even if it does kind of. It's where the. Um, can look, it's where the water runs off the roof. Um, it's always been that way. But I didn't like the pigs and the dogs having to go through it. So we have a gate here. I don't have a latch yet, but it's pretty much wired. We'll, we'll figure it out. So the guys just left to go get the new horses coming in. There's two of them. And this one big cloud just turned loose. And if you look, this is flooded. Um, it just one big storm. I've got to get out of here and it's pretty much passed us by. There's a little thunder still going on. Um, I'm going to lift this up and see if I can't get it drained. Everything is just flooded and these girls, the ducks are loving it and these girls are all scattered under there. Um, I got to get stuff moving so I'm going to get off here just showing you what my day is like and this after fixing half mile of fence. So to get to it okay so <laughs> i locked you in the barn how did you get out oh i'm scared to go look okay i guess i'm gonna go look because the guys were in and out of the barn and i actually had them locked in the barn i had the two baby kittens locked in before um the rain hit so as you can tell this is also draining the sheep pen which is good uh, it's splashing my feet and it's actually quite deep so um, let me get that stuff out of there and it'll drain a lot faster there we go all right and these guys are actually doing all right everything's just kind of soaking through there's the duckies the ducks look at how mean that sky looks now it just uh and look right here right over the house beautiful blue see the bubbly um, sunshiny cloud above it and then all this ugly just kind of comes right in underneath it you can see the red of the Sun over there that is not the West by the way it is way too early for um, the Sun to be setting here Whew, up to my ankles in very cold water okay this is draining and carrying on so it's going I need to lift it up um, when we get heavy rains like this a lot of things don't wash through they, they get clogged up with debris so um, Murphy was in the barn I'm gonna go check on him and we'll see how mr. Murphy is Murph the Smurf hey big guy okay and the other kittens still in here so I'm gonna guess that your sister went out without that without that okay and Murph has kicked through his thing here again. Murph, don't bite me. Don't bite. Okay, he's upset. He says, I am not sure I want to be in here. It's okay. You're fine. He, he does this. He's not real happy about it. But I got to go out and that thunder that you're hearing. Um, we had locked up the barn. And I've got to go and see this water right here. We gotta get that moving on and in order to do that oh and looky there's all the goats the sheep go right out after it rains they don't like sand underneath here i don't know if it's the boom of the thunder or not but i am going to do that and that is going to let all of this go and run off so and then i'm going to also do that there is actually a drain down in there that is sucking water down to that other end so we've got this and yes it's gonna go into the sheep pen but it will actually drain off faster on the other side so there we go i know babies all right so we now have water moving right on off of here you can see it rushing and it's just a downpour um, let me and see it washes all of our fertilizer everywhere there we go all right breaking through these big piles I'm gonna go out and check everything out 
And you probably won't see me again unless there's something terribly, terribly wrong. Okay, I'm not even sure why, <laughs> why these two came out of the pond. What did you talk about? Cats hanging on by a thread. Uh, Alright, I'm going to quit laughing. I'm going to put them in the barn. You two goofballs. Okay, I just wanted to show you just how deep this little flash flood is. Um, I have on just my old yucky um, slip-on tennis shoes. They're probably two years old. They don't last. They're from Walmart. And I use them when I have to go run someplace. I always keep a pair that's halfway decent. And then I keep a really muddy, yucky pair. And just so you can see, this stuff is pretty deep. This is on the walkway. Um, so the walkway is raised up a little bit. Out here, it's even deeper. Um, out here in the pasture, it goes just a little bit deeper. So, yeah. It, it can get up to about mid-shin. And uh, so... I'm going to go check everything um, and see how they're all doing and we will go from there. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Not really. Okay, I don't like storms, but this is just beautiful to see and so it's part of my day. I'm having fun with it. Why not, right? Okay, just so you can see, the water is also, we're out here in the middle of the pasture, okay? So it's not like we're just in the overflow wash and it's starting to rain again um i've got a cow out here bawling i'm not sure who oh there so it was supposed to just be one cloud where the hot and the cold mixed well they mixed all right and it is now pouring down yet once again and everything i just moved is already starting to build back up so i'm pretty wet i'm gonna go inside and take a break for a little bit um the calves are all going under stalls. The sheep are all under stalls. Everything's doing fine. Just really drenched. So that's a good thing, right? Water's a good thing. I keep telling myself that. 